Hello, it's Farmer Brad here, and I'm going to be putting the chicken tractors away for the winter, and I figured I'd come out here and just do a general overview. So these are Peterson chicken tractors. They're eight by eight, and what I like about them is when you're done process, when you're done raising the chickens, it's really easy to get to birds. So this tarp is held by tension and then you're able to easily get the birds. Now I it added an advanced feature where I use wiggle wire on these um, so that will increase the price but generally speaking it's about a hundred and thirty to hundred and forty dollars of parts uh, made from two by three lumber so it's lighter and then this grass is overgrown but there's roost bars down in there and then there's a bar that goes there and that helps for rigidity and support as well as if you have a downpour and the, the your chicken tractor is in a low spot it allows for your chickens to get up off of the wet ground um, if need be and then and over here is the feed trough uh, so most of it is just two feet high the peak is 36 inches and we have uh, pre-order plans on farmerbrad.com just search for peterson chicken tractor and they're like i think 395 or something like that and it will give you access to rough draft plans the parts what you need and there will be some build videos now these are eight by eight so typically i end up running about 35 to 40 birds in each of these um and then i put some hooks for the chicken waters like this and then this one i added a, a five gallon bucket on the back of it so that then you could run tubing to those chicken waters there and then all you'd have to do is just fill up this bucket and then it would fill those up um and then there's wheels on the back and on here i put that uh pipe insulation there to just help the tarp last longer there's a vertical post there that helps keep that in place and then to standardize all of the chicken tractors i went down here um, and there's this little metal loop and so i put that on there and then i have um, a hook that i put on the back of my zero turn radius mower and i can hook it on there to move it if i have to do a big move or i can put a strap on there but i just try to keep it consistent for the most part from chicken tractor to chicken tractor now this one is a 10 by 10. Uh, that tarp is, uh, is shot, but uh, this tarp is still good. And then uh, because it's uh, 10 by 10, I did have to place a metal piece of conduit over this to and then I, uh, this, this got bent <laughs> quite a bit, but then there ends up being a spot there that keeps that part of it secure. And then that keeps the tarp from going down. Now this one was a lot heavier to move and the base I had to, I had to rip the boards so that they would be, uh, thinner because in, uh, Typically at the hardware store, I'm only able to get eight foot long, uh, two by three lumber. And actually, yeah, I think it's still two by three uh, lumber, um, but I had to split longer boards in order to get it, um, get it made. And then on the front, here 
because I was running out of hardware cloth. I put uh, some plywood there and then that ends up being uh, another weather break. Now this board here, I can uh, screw it to one of the sides if the orientation where the chicken uh, tractors are headed, if th there's too much weather on one side, I can just screw this board onto the side and it's good to go. Uh, this is the cross piece to keep it uh, from going down and it kind of rests on there. Um, and then I have this hardware, these latches. So I have one over here and then I have one over there. So I crisscross that and that keeps it down. And these chicken tractors have been able to handle a lot of wind. Um, so another thing that I did was on a few of these, there's these bolts that go through for the, for the hinging mechanism of the, the things that fasten to the roof. I don't know the technical names with these, but anyway, I put an eye bolt here and then this allows me, uh, if a really, really bad storm is coming, I'll have an anchor point and then I can just get one of those, uh, dog, dog uh, corkscrew things that you put down in the ground to anchor it and then uh, and then this isn't going anywhere so I typically try to put one of those on each side I guess I didn't on that side and then really the only, the main vulnerable part is right here so so I it end up taking a bungee and fasten it there to just sort of minimize that. But we have a livestock guardian dog. But yes, in theory. And then the back is all solid. Uh, there's two pieces of lumber stacked on top of each other to be a base that then the wheels can screw into it and uh and then typically what i've done is with these uh chicken tractors i have the john siskovich one over here with the water tank on it and then they daisy chain so as long as the water source is higher than these chicken tractors uh the water will gravity feed into the chicken waters and you can uh speed up your chicken chores with that but uh let's see i just hope you uh enjoyed that overview of the peterson chicken tractor before i put them up for winter um i'll put the link in the description of this video after it's published and uh or you can just head over to farmerbread.com and search for peterson chicken tractor now the reason why it's called Peterson Chicken Tractor and not the Farmer Brad Chicken Tractor is because uh, Lisa Peterson from Canada, she had uh, the initial design with some pictures and I asked her for permission if, uh, if I could modify it and, uh, and put it on my website. And so, to, uh, so I give her some royalties from uh, those sales on my website. And then also I named it after her since she uh, was the one that I had originally um, showed the designs and stuff. So um, yeah, make sure to check out uh, farmerbread.com uh, for more information. And if you're not subscribed already to the Farmer Bread YouTube channel, uh, please do. It's really easy, it's free. Uh, just click the subscribe and the bell notification so that you'll get notified when we post a new video. Have a great day and take care.